The SVTS 2000 uses shop air to perform two separate functions on cooling systems. Remove the cooling system cap and attach the SVTS 2000 directly to the cooling system. Use the appropriate commonly available adapter if necessary. With the exhaust valve closed, shop air is routed into the cooling system so that pressure testing for leaks can be done. The safety blow-off spring at the end of the cap assembly prevents overpressurizing. Always release pressure using the rotating lever on this cap assembly. The second function is coolant retention. Attach the tool to the cooling system and route the exhaust hose into a bucket to collect any coolant that might be expelled. Make a note of the coolant level in the surge tank. With the exhaust valve open, the SVTS 2000 creates vacuum. When a component like a freeze plug or a temperature sensor is removed, the airflow created by the vacuum prevents coolant from spilling out. Once the component is replaced, the SVTS 2000 pulls a vacuum on the system again. Turn off the air supply, remove the tool, and pour back any expelled coolant into the surge tank. If the surge tank level is unchanged, no air remains in the system. If the level is up significantly, a cooling system refiller should be used to extract any trapped air. While the technician demonstrates changing a hose, let's address a couple common concerns. One is that pulling air into a cooling system is a bad idea. Since the SVTS 2000 does just that, why use it? The answer is that time is money. The alternative is to drain the system and likely change the coolant and then use a refiller to replace all the coolant every time. Using the SVTS 2000 makes it possible to avoid those time-consuming steps. Another frequently asked question is, can I use the SVTS 2000 to change a water pump? The answer in most cases is no. Usually, the water pump is connected to the surge tank by a hose. When that hose is removed from the water pump, the SVTS 2000 can no longer influence the rest of the cooling system and the coolant in the engine and the radiator will be lost. Though not complicated, the SVTS 2000 does have a learning curve. For example, successfully changing a hose using the SVTS 2000 requires you to pull the hose off slowly. Let the tool sweep the coolant into the surge tank. Pinch off the small surge tank return line to prevent leak back. Take your time and let the tool do the work. Experience will lead to better results as you learn to use the tool, but you can get good results right away by taking the time to understand how the tool works. Now every cooling system is different, but the time-saving potential is clear. The examples you just witnessed make that obvious. 